Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this quick tip, I'm going to be showing you how to use the image processor from Bridge. The image processor allows you to apply Photoshop actions to your pictures as well as some output settings. First, I'm going to show you what we'd be doing if we were applying it one at a time to the photos, and then I'll show you how we'd apply it to all of them at once. I've got one of the pictures open in Photoshop, so I'm going to go to the Actions panel, which I've got just there. And I'm going to run the frame sharpen action. So if I just click the play icon there, that will run through and do it. Twirl that closed and just zoom out. We can see that we've got a white border. And we've got Harry Guinness Photography written down the bottom. There's also a small bit of sharpening going on. I'm not sure whether you can see that, depending on what resolution you're viewing this at. But it is noticeable close up. So if we wanted to apply this to a few photos all at once... We could either painstakingly open them one at a time in Photoshop, do this, then save them, and then keep doing it for each one. Or else we can use the image processor. So I'll close this. I won't save it because we're going to be applying it now from the image processor. So I've got the four photos here in Bridge. Command A to select them all. Then Tools, Photoshop, Image Processor. That brings us back to Photoshop with all four files selected. You can choose to open first image to apply settings. That's only really applicable when you're dealing with camera raw. Uh, so I don't need to do that there. JPEGs. I'm going to save them in the same location. They're going to be saved into a JPEG folder with the original files. I want to save them as JPEGs. Quality of 8 is fine. I want to resize to fit 1,000 pixels wide, 1,000 pixels high. That's the maximum of the long edge. They're all landscapes, so they're only going to hit the 1,000 pixels wide criteria there. But if there was a few portraits, they might hit the 1,000 pixels high before they hit the 1,000 pixels wide. I could also save it as a PSD or a TIFF at the same time. You know, you're not just limited to one of the three. You can do all three. So if you're trying to create duplicates, this is quite a good way to do it. Then we're going to run an action. So I've got that action saved in the default actions. And the action I want is Frame Sharpen. You can include copyright info if you want. So I'm just going to stick Harry Guinness in there. Always good to do. And just hit Run. They're going to pop up one at a time quite quickly. And the action is going to be applied. And we're sent back to Bridge. Where we've got our JPEG folder. If we open that up, we've got all four of these pictures with the same settings outputted in a fraction of the time it would have taken us to do it by hand. If you've got any great actions that you think would benefit from doing this, please let me know in the comments. I've been Harry Guinness and this tutorial's been for Tuts Plus. Thank you.